time, believe me, there's a much bigger threat to the men in blue. That's him! Kill the bastard with the video camera! I wanted to preface this video because there's just a lot that happened. Uh, this video took place over two days, uh, yesterday, February 21st, 2019, and today, February 22nd, 2019. Uh, I went to go do a, a First Amendment audit of the Richmond Postal Service in Richmond, Illinois. Uh, and I got to be honest with you, the cops were called and I folded like a house of cards. Uh, as an auditor, especially a new one, you spend hours watching other audits and, uh, you know, you prepare your strategy and your rhetoric and you think you're going in and you can, you're ready to go and then contact gets made and it all goes out the window. Uh, you know, my confidence wasn't up yesterday. Uh, I'm visiting a new state, so there's doubts in my mind there uh, on their laws and then stat state statutes. And then there's also the doubt in my mind about... Are you allowed to video in a post office or not? I mean, one half says, yes, you absolutely are. The other half says, no, you're absolutely not. Uh, so I decided to go back and find out once and for all. So I'm telling you, watch this video. I promise I cut out as much fat as I possibly could because I, I was there for over two hours. This is the longest video I've ever done. But it's so important because it answers this question without a doubt. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I uh, can't wait to see all your, your comments. So have a great day. Enjoy the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Civil Unrest News coming at you with another First Amendment audit. This time we're doing the U.S. Postal Service here in Richmond, Illinois. Let's see if they respect our right to record in public, participating in unrest civilly. So there's where it's posted. I'm not gonna cross that line. Good, how are you, sir? What's happening? Can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? Sure, sir? Officer Prindle, Richmond Prindle? Police Department. What's and, going on over here? And your uh, badge number? 9480. 9480. Yeah, what, what's Good happening over here? Huh? Okay, they're worried about when you're taking pictures of a uh, government building, okay? They okay. called about you, they're on their property, they're asking that, you to leave that, their property. Is that illegal? Okay? To be on their property, they want you to leave, yes. Is this not a public sidewalk? It's in front of their building, no. This is theirs. Okay. Well, you go right down there if you want. I can go down there. Okay, do you have any identification with you, sir? Oh, no, sir. Okay, what's your name? Oh, uh, Again, have I done something wrong? Well, they call about suspicious persons, so I usually have to report saying I talked to somebody and he wasn't doing anything wrong. So I like to put you in report saying you weren't doing anything wrong. No, I'd rather I'd rather keep my name private then. Okay. Do you live in town here? You live local? Sir, I'm, I'd just rather keep my, my personal business private. Okay. Okay, why don't you move on that, on that way, away from the front of their building, please, okay? All right. We appreciate it. Thank oh, you very where, much. Where, where does the public huh? easement, where does the public easement that, start? That's our lot line. Just up by, by the blue building right there. Okay. okay. Perfect. Right here? Yeah, you're fine right there. All right. Well, the Richmond Post Office gets a C. Officer, yes, you mind if I ask you a few questions, sir? No. You don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Thank you. All right. Thanks for being professional. All right, guys. I'm back. The next day, I'm really disappointed in myself how yesterday's audit went down. I just feel like I totally crumbled. Didn't assert my rights like I should have, and it just really... I just wasn't happy with myself. 
And basically the reason is, is because there's all this conjecture about recording in post offices. People say you can, people say you can't. And I never make a bet unless I know I'm gonna win. Well, today I'm gonna win. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Taking pictures? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So, uh, are you the supervisor? I am not. Do you, uh, is there a supervisor here? We are not here. Okay. Chris or Dave? Dan? Chris should be back by two. Okay, great. Uh, who are you? Are you here? I don't think you're allowed to be in here with the camera, right? Oh, I am, ma'am. Oh. And, and what's your name? Kathy. Kathy. Very nice to meet you. What's this about? Just taking pictures. And who are you? Just concerned citizen. Interested citizen. How long you worked for the post office, Kathy? A long time. Long time. Do you enjoy it? I love it. I'm not camping on that either. Uh, you're not really even supposed to be doing this, I don't think. I'll call Chris. And how is it why you don't want to tell your name? I just respect my privacy. Well, but you're not supposed to be in the post office taking pictures either. I am. I, I'm allowed though. <laughs> Hi, Chris. There's a gentleman here taking pictures inside the office. He said he's allowed here. He will not give his name. He's taking a picture of me talking on the phone, too. He's taking me. And he's taking inside here right now. Are you taking pictures? I can wait. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right, sounds good. Kathy, you know if Chris is coming to talk to me, or? Yeah, so she might be coming here. Hmm? She's coming out. Okay, great. <gasps> Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hi, Chris. 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 Hi, Ch
Thank you for calling the United States Postal Service Customer Care Center. To hear our privacy policy, press 1. Um, oh, yes. oh, I said uh, 9, what you do, 9-1-1? Before we get started, Tell them we'll call the non-emergency number. I'm trying to get short, and we promise oh. survey at the end of this call. We respect your time, so it's only a few questions. Oh, there's just a gentleman and in here taping everybody and everything. Standing in the lobby, disrupting everything. Thanks. Your opinion matters, and we appreciate your help in creating the best possible service for our customers. So I call the supervisor, and the supervisor sends someone over here. Are they on the way? And, uh, not you can return to the main menu by saying I mean, main here, menu. So they told me to call 911 because we're not shit. Sure. And she's on 911 right now. Sorry, I didn't get that. To track a package, say package. Yeah, one. For passports, say passport. Well, somehow he's got your name. He wants to talk to you. He's just going to stand here. He's just going to stand here and fill. He wants to know um, black jacket, am, shirt. which is none of his business. So he just thinks he can just I think he said supplies. Is that correct? No. Say yes. My mistake. Why? Say passports. Fraud. Or press one. Like okay, fine. Thank okay. you for calling Good. the U.S. Fine. Postal Inspection Service, a federal law enforcement agency. For more information, please hold while I transfer your call. Hey, Miss Anderson. How are you? Hi. Fine. You so? Well, uh, I'm down at the post office, and they've called the police on me again. Oh, wow. In fact, the I asked for the supervisor. She wouldn't even come down. She sent her boyfriend in. So she that sent her boyfriend? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Postal so postal what I mean, what are you trying to do? You just filming and standing uh, in the lobby, writing up a journal, or yes. something to that effect. Yeah, just doing a news story, standing in the lobby, being quiet, not talking to any customers. I chatted with Kathy a little bit. She's been very pleasant, uh, and the supervisor sent her boyfriend down to see what hold, I was doing. Hold on one second. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. So I'm on the phone with the inspector's office right now. Did they call you, Kathy? Okay. Oh, still, the county's trying to call you. Tell them the county's trying to call you. You can count on the United States Postal Service for quick delivery to your new address. Just file a permanent or temporary forwarding order at your local post office, and your mail will arrive right at your doorstep. I would tell you, except I'm on film, and I'm done talking to the camera. Miss Kathy, won't even answer. I'm I'm on the phone with the inspect postal inspector's office right now. Hello, Miss Anderson. Yeah. The police the police are here now. Would you like to speak with them? Yeah. Um he needs, you you would need to speak to an inspector as well. Because I was gonna have him talk to one earlier, but he, he said that's okay. So no, take it down. Right. Because they don't want to give out the wrong information. Yes, ma'am. Okay, um Well the the police officers the police officers coming in right now. What postal station are you? Rich Richmond, Illinois. Miss Kathy, what's the zip code here? They, they won't even answer me now. Wow. Oh, it's Richmond, Illinois. Is that under, um, it's gotta be Cherry Road. Hold on, okay? Yes, ma'am. Because, you know, the other Hold on, please. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. Whether you are moving across the street or across the country, you can.
Count on the United States Postal Service for quick delivery to your new address. Fine. Oh, sir, I'm on with the postal inspector's oh, office. Fine. That's fine. Well, they said they'd, they'd like to, if you could go in there with me, they'd like to, to speak to the supervisor to advise them. I talked to them this I, morning. I just, I just explained to her. I explained to her. Okay? You're fine. You're in the public building. Not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, can, can we talk to this gentleman? Which gentleman? Uh, apparently the supervisor's boyfriend. Came okay. in very he, confrontational. Well, he, the, 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 he's gone. He left. So he's already gone, okay? Yes, so, sir. So we're done. Okay? Like I asked, I asked your court yesterday if you just do us a favor, okay? If you want to stay out here with no problem, just over that way a little bit, because you, obviously you're alarming people. Right, well, and, 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 yeah, and, and I, I know you have doing. a right to be here, right. but like I said, we're just trying to stop people from calling us again. Right, okay? that's right. all. Yeah. So like I said, I got no problem with you videotaping doing what you're doing to see what they're doing their jobs and everything else. Legally fine, okay? All right, great. That's, that's why you videotape us too. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, we don't have issues with that. But we could keep getting calls. That's a, Well, and that's, we you know, to be honest on. with you, that, that, that's why he came back is to educate them. Right. You know, so, right about said. about First Amendment rights. And, right. You know. like said. And most of them, she, she's a sub, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I don't, so I don't have a The regular people that work here, they, they knew about it because when I talked to them yesterday, they said, yeah, we're aware of it. So, well, so then why did she know. send her boyfriend down to be confrontational? I, no, she's, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Can't answer that question. Okay, all I know all is right. she's gone, and like I said, so I get all along. Okay, you just try, you're trying to do what you got to do. Yeah. But we're all just trying to keep the peace, okay? Awesome. Sound good, good to you? Yes, sir. What's Thank your name, you sir? I'm Steve. Yeah, Steve, yeah. I got... Uh, we, what's your name? Uh, okay. uh, what's your name, sir? Officer Out. And what's your badge number? It's 9473. Officer Out. Thank you, gentlemen, for upholding your oath to the Constitution. Okay. Appreciate it. Officer, she's now locked the lobby. Hey, Dad, call the postal, please. I can't do anything about her locking the door. All right, well, I'm, I'm on with him right now. You got to talk to that I can't do anything about someone locking a door. Yeah. 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 That's well, I'm on, I'm, I'm on the phone with the postal place. inspector right now. All right, yeah, thank okay. you. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. She locked the door on me. Did you know that there is an important difference between certified and registered mail? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I can give it to you right now. It's six zero zero seven one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's gonna be Carol Stream or Lisa. Okay. Hold on, okay. Yes, ma'am. The uh, the uh, supervisor, uh, the postmaster is on vacation. His name is Dave. The supervisor, her name is Chris, and she's not here. I guess she was out to lunch. Well, who's calling the police? Uh, the the lady. Apparently, the supervisor called the police. Chris called the police. It's not, it, it is not illegal to, uh, to take pictures outside. You're taking pictures outside? No, I went, I, I took a picture. I did a picture of the four years lobby and um, corridors. Okay, and, and there was no disruption? No, no. ma'am. I sat there completely quiet while people were uh, doing their business. I spoke, I chatted with Kathy. Yeah. She, she was asking questions about what I was doing. I told her. And then uh, when I asked, she called the supervisor, uh, then I asked if the supervisor was coming down to see me, and she said, Kathy said that she believed so, and then her boyfriend showed up and started being very confrontational and told Kathy to call the cops. Where's the, uh, po uh, the police? I just spoke with the police. They said, look, it's a public building. There's, I, there's nothing, you did nothing wrong. Yesterday, we just asked you to do us a favor, um, and, you know, and then they left. So they're good, but now I would like, I don't know what to do about this supervisor, because now I feel threatened, you know, that she would send her boyfriend down to be confrontational with me. I understand. Hold on one second, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hello, sir. What, what type of... Uh boyfriend mate. Is he a postal employee? Is oh, no, no, ma'am. He's, he's, he's not a postal employee. He's, he's just the boyfriend. And he just came in and said, what are you doing, man? You're not supposed to be filming in here. And I was just like, who are, I'm sorry, who are you? 
and he wouldn't answer me. I found out it was through the postal employee, Kathy, postal clerk, and he was, he was just being, he didn't make any threats, but his demeanor was, was very aggressive. Like he came in to try to intimidate me. And now she's locked. Now they've locked the lobby. He did. They came and locked. They locked the lobby? Yes, ma'am. To keep the customers from coming in? Yes, ma'am. Well, to keep me from that's coming called, in. That's not good. Yeah. That's revenue going out the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And I've got this all on film. You can see that I am I'm not being yeah, disruptive in any way. He was not disruptive in any way. Yeah, I remember that from your initial call. Mm -hmm. call. Now we've got a customer trying to get in and it's locked. What's his number? What's your number? You might try knocking. And your name? Okay, someone's gonna call you. Somebody's gonna. Okay, um, would you ladies mind if I kept you on the line until we get, until that phone call comes in, or? No, we have other calls coming in. Okay, uh, who who should I be expecting a phone call from? Okay. And a lady, yes, ma'am. A lady just came in and they they turned away business. Okay, great. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Thank you, ladies. Be careful. Be careful out here. Yes, ma'am. I'm just gonna stand here silently. Be all right? I'm gonna be fine. You're not gonna cause any trouble with me? Oh no, ma'am, no, ma'am. It's not you. It's not you at all. Because okay, you scared me badly. Oh, well, I, and I, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I didn't mean to scare you at all. He, her boyfriend, came in a little hot-headed. Okay. Of course, I'm not gonna hurt you. And that wasn't my intention at all. I'm what? This is the gentleman. Is this, is this Chris? All right. Hi, Chris. How are you doing today, ma'am? This is wonderful. Good, good. Um, could I speak with you? The, the postal inspector's office said that I talked to them today, mm -hmm. uh, and they said that if I run into any problems that I should call them because uh, they, they would like to speak with you directly. Why do they want to speak to me? Uh, what, what, what do you have a problem with? Well, uh, the post office called the cops on me yesterday. And then you sent your boyfriend down here. When I asked for you uh, to speak with you, you sent your boyfriend down here. And he was very confrontational. And the cops were called on me again. All for exercising my First Amendment Right. Well, I sent my boyfriend down here to be with her because she was scared. I didn't send him down here to talk to you. Well, he talked to me and he was, he was very agitated and, and confrontational. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I don't know what your purpose is. To Just... exercise my First Amendment. Oh, okay. Well, good. Have a, make yourself comfortable. Well, I, I would, we, we still, they're, they're going to be calling back and they do, they do want to have a speak okay. with you. Okay. So. Okay. We'll wait till well till that happens. Well, when are they gonna call that? They said five minutes. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone here. Uh, okay. And just so you know, I'm also re recording this on film just so I can capture the entire event. Um, so yesterday, what, what are you, sir? What, what are you recording on film? Uh, our conversation is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So yesterday, I came out to Richmond, Illinois to uh, get some B-roll footage uh, of the post office here. And I, stood, okay. I was standing on the sidewalk. Uh, they called the police. Didn't even come out and ask what I was doing. They called the police. Police came out and threatened trespass uh, if I didn't leave the property. 
uh, and uh, I wasn't quite sure of the laws here in Illinois. So I did that. I left. Uh, I called the postal, called you folks today to get clarification on poster seven uh, and filming in the lobby's corridors and four years for news purposes. Uh, I spoke to Miss Anderson. She said, yes, that's well within your rights, just as long as you're not being disruptive or impeding normal business. So I came and she says, I said, you know, I need to go back to finish my story. Um, if I run into any complications, uh, do you mind me calling you? And she said, yes, call us. We'll talk to the supervisor uh, to let them know that it's okay to film again, as long as you're not disrupting business. So I came back today, uh, was working on my story, uh, set in the lobby to get some B-roll footage out of the way, um, wasn't talking to anybody. I chatted with the postal clerk a little bit when she was asking what I was doing. I said, I'm just gathering footage. Uh, she was very pleasant. Her name is Kathy. Um, I asked to speak to, uh, or she said, you know, I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. And I said, ma'am, it's, it's okay, I, I'm, I'm allowed. Uh, and then she called this, her supervisor, Chris, because the postmaster, Dave, I think his name is, is on vacation. Um, right. she, I, I don't know what Chris's end of the conversation was, but I uh, asked to speak to the supervisor. Um, she got off the phone about t 10 minutes later. She goes, I don't think Chris is coming down. Uh, but then Chris's boyfriend walks in, being very confrontational, asking what I'm doing, why I'm here. Uh, was very intimidating. I asked who he was, he wouldn't answer me. He told uh, the postal clerk, Kathy, to call the cops, that Chris was calling the cops and that he was calling the cops. So they called 911. At that time, that's when I called Miss Anderson again and let her know what was going on uh, while all this was going on. The police showed up. Uh, I spoke with them, I said, look, I'm here. I've talked to the postal in inspector's office. They said, as long as I'm not being disruptive, I'm well within my rights. Uh, they said, okay, they left. Um, and then about five minutes after that, the supervisor showed up. Uh, and they said at that time, Ms. Anderson said at that time, you would be calling. Uh, so basically, I, I would just like to get this matter resolved. Um, you know, in no way am I looking to be confrontational, but I'm just kind of, I'm tired of this kind of stuff happening. You know, and I, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to do my job. I know they're trying to do their job. Um, uh, and it's just, I'm, I'm yeah. just hope we can educate them. Right. Right. So I think what you're, oh, and on top, right now is on top of that, they, they, when I went out to speak to the police, uh, they locked, they locked the lobby door and like three or four customers couldn't get in. Oh, okay. Okay. So what you're kind of experiencing right now is you're at a smaller post office and they're not generally used to seeing this type of stuff like when people would come film for whatever it may be. So I think they might have got a little scared and called somebody, including the police. But they know what the rules and regulations are and we'll just have to remind them of that. So when I say us, that means like postal inspector. Right. So we'll take care of that from our end. You are definitely within your rights to do what you're doing. The only thing that, like, you wouldn't be allowed to do is if you were taking pieces of mail and filming it. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Do you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to film anybody's personal. Right. Stuff, so yeah. you're you're fine. I mean, as long as you're not threatening anybody or physically making contact with anybody, or you're just doing your filming. It's it's totally fine. Okay, great. And can I ask? Can I ask you? Um, ha have you all spoke to the supervisor yet? Okay. And I will be, I will be again too. Okay, great, great. Uh, so all right. I'm, I'm they, glad we could should, get. They shouldn't be bothering you at all. Great. I'm, I'm glad we could get this resolved, and, and I appreciate y'all's efforts at, at the postal inspector's office. Uh, it, it's gonna make, my life and my job a whole lot easier in the future. Okay. Well, well, good luck to you, and just if, if anything happens immediately, like if, if you get threatened or, or whatnot, make sure you call the police right away because we, we're kind of spread thin. We were right. there for about 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I, I really so didn't, the, yeah, I really didn't expect yeah. her boyfriend to show up and, and, and you know, right. act in a threatening manner. Well, yeah, right, right. Um, hopefully he 
he's not going to come back. So yeah, I I, 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 I don't think he will. He will yeah. just, judging by our conversation with her earlier, I think they were just concerned because they're not used to seeing people come there with cameras and. Yeah, and I, and I can, I can, I can understand that uh, people get shy around cameras. Uh, you know, I'm a photographer. I know people don't like their picture getting taken. Uh, but I, you know, I think they just when their initial reaction is to call the police and and try to trespass you or, or do whatever, it's it's just a little ridiculous, you know. Yeah, no, I, I get it, man. I, I totally understand. It just just so for we have this up for our report. What what is your last name? It's All right, great. And and what was your first name again? It's Scott. Scott. Scott Zimmerman. All right, Scott, thank you so much for your help today, and I appreciate it. No problem, sir. Have a good one. All right, have a great day. Bye. Miss Chris, could I talk to you for a second, please? Why? Uh, so you talked to the postal inspector? Yes. Okay, and we can agree that we now know that this is all well within people's rights to yes. do this as long as they're not being disruptive okay yes. great I'm not trying to make anybody look bad you know it, I just I hope this was an educational experience um, you know and I would appreciate a, an apology for for your the way your boyfriend acted and having the cops called on me twice oh, she did apologize. Well, yeah, I did. Remember she said, I'm sorry, oh did you yeah. oh okay I didn't catch that and I mean Kathy called the police in front of you yeah, and yeah, I yeah. wasn't here yesterday afternoon, so I don't know who called them on me yesterday. Yeah, I, I didn't even come inside, so I don't yeah, know either. So, so, so I yeah. don't know. So, yeah, Miss Kathy, I'm sorry I didn't mean to make you feel scared. Like, scared. no, yeah, yeah Ill, no ill will in, or intent. But I, that's what, this part of what I'm trying to do is just to get people, like, not so afraid of cameras and, you know, normalize this thing. Because since, you know, they say in this day and age, see something, say something, people have gotten freaked out over cameras. That's why I wish you would have said something. Yeah, and they, so. they really shouldn't be. So, all right, folks, I'm going to get out of your hair. Okay. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe. Thank you. You too. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they have now been educated. So, great. Makes me feel so much better. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Anybody has any questions about Poster 7 and your right to film inside, it has just been answered by the Postal Inspector's Office itself. You have the right to go inside and film the post office. As long as you're not impeding normal business. So, case closed, civil unrest news coming at you with a great audit. If you don't know your rights, you don't know your might, participating in unrest civilly.